Hi, Stitchers. Hi. I'm Keisha. I'm Laura. Welcome to the Pattern Queens, episode 121. Mm -hmm. Today is Sunday, April 23rd, and this is a channel about cross stitch and friendship and rambles and lots and lots of shenanigans. And if you like Shakespeare, happy Shakespeare's birthday. <laughs> if you don't like Shakespeare, happy day that he died. And if you're a different, oh. happy Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a big introduction. Yeah, <laughs> so if you are new here, welcome, welcome. Um, there's always something silly going on. And if you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. We know that you guys have a lot of choices and we appreciate that you come and join us for a little bit. We are, and I haven't said this for a while, we are filming in the office of the Black Needle Society. And so there is an Easter tree set up which we have left because this week will be the um, Stars Hollow, the spring in Stars Hollow retreat. Right, right. And we just decided we would leave Easter up to yeah. do that. Carrots and eggs. What more could you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we've found all of our eggs. Well, we didn't hide them at our house, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but Kirk didn't find them out. So. No, we didn't. <laughs> What's new with you this week? Um, not a whole lot, just kind of a normal back to business week. We've been traveling the past couple of weekends, so we're uh, it's nice to have just a weekend at home. We're going, uh, one of the city that I work for is co-hosting a kite festival today, so we're very excited. James has never flown a kite before. We're going to see how that goes. It's probably going to be cold, but I'm looking forward to it. Now. Just make sure you keep hold of that boy. I'm afraid that kite will just pick him right up. Probably so. <laughs> though he'll tell anybody who talks to him that he's big now he's two and a half he's very <laughs> excited about growing though <laughs> that's so fun what's new with you well um we started testing this past week so i got to spend a lot of time um with students individually mm -hmm. doing the state testing and we can't have any electronics uh -huh. during that so i get to sit in cross stitch and it's kind of fabulous <laughs> yeah no, that's good uh the other thing that let's do a little business the other thing you should know is that there will not be a video next week we will be at, do hosting the stars hollow retreat and keisha will be attending maybe virtually my father in law's going to visit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we just decided that we would we would skip a week and we'll be back in two weeks right so maybe there'll be lots of stuff to show. There may be lots of stuff to show. You never know with us. I'm hoping to have a start and finish. Ooh. Which I, I should have pulled out ahead of time and maybe I'll pause the video in a while and, mm -hmm. and I'll just go grab it because it's right behind me. Nice. So anyway, are you ready to hop into this? I am. I am. Do you have any finishes this week? I have no finish. Well, yes, I, you do. We I do, do have a finish. I just can't show you. And that's yeah. why I said no. Um, if you are an attender of the Frog Warts retreat, uh, Frog Warts year four for both Laura and I are sitting right over there. Actually, <laughs> and actually one's right underneath the monitor that we're mm -hmm. recording on we're, we're looking at the end yeah. of it yep. so. and i'm looking at mine i'll fold it up so, <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of exciting yeah. but i didn't have any other finishes either i mean i feel like we both kind of abandoned other stitching mm -hmm. and just finished this right. week so. i um well, I, I've been starting to average about 300 stitches a day, but I put 12, more than 1,200 stitches in on frog birds, and they were over wow. one stitches. Oh, yes, the over one <laughs> stitches, which if you if you do the retreat, you know that's mm -hmm. not a spoiler. Yeah. You have right. over one stitches, or you can choose to do back, um, back stitch. stitches for the whatever quote Katie has put at the bottom. Right, so. Anyway, anyway, my eyes yeah. are tired. So I mine is stitched on 36 counts. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now the and where the trade-off is with that is that you're using DMC mm -hmm. and you're on a more neutral fabric, and I get the crazy modeled fabric mm -hmm. and the overdyed floss. Yes. So I had to um I had to fancy cut, fussy cut my floss for the over one burst because there were parts that I just could not see using one strand over one yeah. and mine's 32 count and mine's nice and bright and it was not that hard to see but if you stitch over one you know on yes. 36 count that that's kind of tight and just your eyeballs do start to cross 
That's so. okay. Do you have any stash this week? I do have stash. I'm very excited about it. So I bought the things for uh, the Rainbow Stitch Challenge, the Rainbow, Rainbow Block, Block Stitch Stitching Challenge, Challenge. Yes. Um, from Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts Stitching Book Club. I bought that. You'll see it in whips. Um, but no, it couldn't travel by itself. So I have been eyeing this for months. This is bacon and eggs from Mill Hill. Oh, it's so cute. It's one of the new ones this year. And it's, um, I may start it because I have it, but I, I was debating having this be like my birthday start. I don't know if I can wait until my birthday for this <laughs> because, um, my, my mother-in-law lovingly calls, and it's not quite this, uh, two eggs over easy, two pieces of toast and two pieces of bacon, the quiche special at her house, because <laughs> she'll just make whatever you want for breakfast. So when I saw this, I'm like, it's the quiche special, <laughs> even though it's only one egg, but it's because I already ate one of the eggs. There you go. So. <laughs> there you go. How about you? Got anything new this time? Well, I got my mother's day present mm -hmm. early. And it's because of the retreat. So I'm going to have to stand up and I'll be off camera for just a second. Right. And really, Ooh. I will just lean in and kind of show you guys. I saw this. This is what I got. So exciting. And we didn't have time to pull it out of the box last mm -hmm. night. Well, I'm already off. I'm going to grab that. <laughs> and then I'll just cut all this off. I was gonna fill time for you now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, I might as well just grab it. I did see that. Standing up. And I didn't notice it until after we started hitting record and I was like, I need to ask what <laughs> <laughs> And he was like, I need to give you your present early. No, I don't want my present early. And we were packing and she said, uh, so I got my present early and I got it early because uh, Katie said, Oh, I'm gonna, I want to give you your Mother's Day present early. And I said, No, I don't want it early. I, you know, I want it on Mother's Day. And we were here packing for the Spring and Stars Hollow Box. And she told the teacher that I work with, she told Amy, I'm gonna tell you what it is. And she went over and whispered in her ear because I had said, Amy, would you want your present early? And Amy's like, No. I want my things on Mother's Day. And Katie's like, yeah, yeah, but let me tell you. Mm -hmm. And so she whispers and explains it to her. And Amy goes, mm, yeah, you need it a little early. Mm -hmm. And they, it was funny because then the other people here packing had to hear what it was okay. too. So Katie's walking around whispering, whispering in everyone's ear. But that's a great surprise. We didn't get back here soon enough yesterday to unbox it. Mm -hmm. So I'm still waiting. But... Um, the people at Stitch Day, I went to Stitch Day yesterday, were saying that there are probably going to be parts that I want to go with that. And Katie's already said, you know, whatever I need to go with it, we'll get. She did happen to think this chair is a rocker, mm -hmm. and I, but it doesn't rock the way she thinks it does. We were talking about that I might not be able to slide the stand under the chair. Um. But I don't, this doesn't have rockers. I think it rocks on its base. Gotcha. So I was just feeling that. You know, <laughs> right. So anyway. That's exciting. That's, that's my stash. Pretty good. Yeah. And that, if she is right, you want it for the retreat for sure. Yes. So, so that will be fun to work with. And mm -hmm. um, I, I hurt my wrist a few years ago during retreats mm -hmm. just from overstitching. And I think... I really want to learn to two-handed stitch and that will be perfect. Yeah, no, that'll be good. And you'll have the people at the retreat who may have that stand who can kind of fill you in. Mm -hmm. first time. That's cool. So exciting. Yes, it was, it was so fun, fun. fun. Okay, so we are up to the section where we're going to talk about whips. whips. <laughs> okay, so um, as discussed, I spent most of my time on the model, but I did pull out a few things. So uh, a few exciting things that I haven't, well, one one thing that I haven't very for a long time. So the first thing I worked on was Flying Pink Piggy. Um, it's a heaven and earth design and the, uh, the artwork is by Lisa Victoria. And here he is, I'm just working on the blue over here. It wasn't really anything exciting, but he's still fun to see. I'm sorry, did you say the artwork is by Lisa Frank? <laughs> well it almost looks like it right <laughs> um so 
he's just so happy and I like to pull him out every so often and he is sweet and now you get to think about grandma mm-hmm. and that big happy grin on the pig has got to be yeah it's so nice I was originally stitching this for my grandma and I didn't make it in time so now it's a memorial piece and that's fine and um I just for some reason I wanted to pull it out yesterday so there he is he's on 25 count it's one over one strand over one so I'm and are you doing a full cross then yes okay. full cross there are all sorts of options that you can use when you're doing mm-hmm. over one and I've heard a lot of people talk about either a full cross or take two strands and just mm-hmm. do a half cross and you would have to play with it yourself and see what you think but you you get a pretty good effect no matter what you do right I think so especially I mean there are definitely if I were to hold this up closer to you you can see some of the white through the blue with one strand but if I hold it way back here you can't see it so. no <clears throat> the next thing I started on the rainbow block challenge uh that I mentioned before from Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts and this is she released the pattern on the 15th right and if we're done by may 15th then we get a free uh a free pattern somebody has already finished it i saw that oh man um i have not uh (laughs) so this is just a piece of 32 count white linen and uh there's my great big start uh it's maybe a little over 100 stitches so I started before Keisha. Mm-hmm. So I've worked on it a couple of times and actually, no, that's the right way. Yeah. I have the width across, so it's only going to be that wide. Mm-hmm. Mine's on 28. That's what she had called for. So that's what I got. Yeah. But um, yeah. Mine's on 32 just because I I saw the design and I thought, well, I probably want just like a fuller stitches. These are the colors for it. And I have to show you, I had made this bag oh, and I'm like, oh my God, yes, that's sure. it. So those are all of our colors for it. It's it's just going to be the happiest thing. Yes. So I'm going to try to get this done by the 15th of May, but mm-hmm. we'll too. see. I've had a lot of under pressure stitching lately, so it may not happen. Well, hopefully it will fit a lot of your... Um, challenges yes well or my spring and stars hollow props i haven't really oh to see. now we'd have to check it out right and then uh <laughs> the next thing i worked on because i had it pulled out uh i worked on ski glass from carolyn manning and this is on a piece of 40 carol anthracite linen from Zweigert. and here's where i am on it so i basically did a little bit of stitching down here in this block I did 200 stitches um, for one of my challenges in fandom stitching central this week Uh, I was going to pull that out and then I got distracted by something else and this was uh the prompt is stitch on something that's winter and of course sea glass isn't really winter but I started (laughs) this in the winter so that's my just that works um then the last thing I worked on which you are probably expecting to see if you have been around for a little bit is Let Joy Be Unconfined by the Blue Flower. And this is on a piece of 32 count fern even weave from Color and Cotton. And here is where I am on that. I have done the U and the N down there at the bottom. I cannot wait for us to finish these. This is so pretty and I want mm-hmm. it finished and displayed. Yes, I'm so excited for it. So um, if this is your first time watching in a while, Lara and I have worked on this as a stitch with us every Mother's Day uh, for the past couple of years. And so Lara says she is close enough to finish it this Mother's Day. But I did tell her last year. Yes, yes, she did. (laughs) And I procrastinated because I was like, of course I can finish that next Mother's Day. Because we have a hundred things to do. So now I'm trying to. So basically I have to finish the, the word on the bottom is unconfined. And then there's a flower over here and a flower over here. Uh, so I've got to get it to where I can finish it on a stitch with us. So stay tuned in a couple of weeks to see um, how much of a procrastinator I am and if I actually do finish it on that stitch with, with us and whether or not it's a three hour stitch. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you may just bring a couple more projects there just in case. I'll just bring all the coffee <laughs> and drink that, right? I'll let you ask the questions. <laughs> 
He still will be furious. Like, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Leave me alone. Andrew. Just Here's let me stitch. <laughs> but anyway, that's all my lips. Because <laughs> we can tell that's exactly how you would talk to me, right? Of course. <laughs> Very hateful. <laughs> For Laura, leave me alone. <laughs> So I am working on another fun, colorful project. Um, look at the colors for this. Yes. I mean, it's like all the prettiness. This is my temperature salve. Yes, I saw and it. I, um, I had it in a project bag and because of crazy drivers on Saturday, I had to slam the brakes. That bag came out of my whole bag fell off the seat mm -hmm. and this one project bag came out katie had had a coffee a toffee nut latte and it uh it was she had finished drinking it mm -hmm. but there was enough in it that it turned over and it has i'll show you this part first it has stained mm -hmm. my fabric now i think i got it out of the top but the big news is that i only had stitched through january uh -huh. and yesterday i stitched all of February and all of March. Yes. So, and I don't think because it was right up here at the top, I don't think it's really noticeable. I mean, my fabric is from Picture This Plus yeah. and it's pretty um, it looks like modeled it, anyway. Yeah, it looks like it has brown modeling. I can't even really tell too much that mm -hmm. coffee got to it. It just looks like part of it. I think it was like right here and I can't see it at all, so. I think it probably affected the sizing mm -hmm. up in there. So I will uh, give the bottom another wash if I need to. I don't even think I'm going to get close to it. So, well, you know, what are days in your life, but a little bit messy, right? Yeah. And let's just be part of the story of the piece. And the fun thing for me is that I got all the way to the end of March and there is what? one the yellow day. day. Mine too. And, you know, I've been working with all of these purples and teals and, just pretty, pretty colors. And I'm thinking, I, I don't know if I really want to experience the temperatures that we'll have to, to get <laughs> no, to the other colors. No, I don't want to get to red. <laughs> and then my, um, uh, my border I'm changing mm -hmm. and I'm going to use evil queen from mm -hmm. be stitch me, which I think goes really well with yes. all of those colors. Yes. It should be really pretty on there mm -hmm. for sure. So it goes through just about every shade of purple. I'm looking for a bag and it's up there because I, I have to get a new project bag for it. So exciting. So, so. it's a Sapphire Mountain Handcraft sort of week. <laughs> it was. But also, I, I've been telling you guys that I feel like I am just done with the 59 before 60. Mm -hmm. We've talked about some different things. I'm trying to make project bags. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking maybe I'll, I will sew a certain number of project bags and count that as one thing to fill in if I want to keep pushing toward that I don't know I don't I don't really want to finish all of my small and medium things right. I want to work on my bigger stuff right and right now what I want to work on is Blackberry House from Plum Street mm -hmm. and um I I really I worked on this at school so I got quite a bit in mm -hmm. on it after I finished Broadworts mm -hmm. So wow. there it is. <laughs> I worked a lot on the leaves in the urn. And then I've started the over one. We were talking about over one. Mm -hmm. There's an over one weather vane here. Yeah. And I opted to, I started down at south and worked up to north. And now I'm putting the horse in. Mm -hmm. So when I finish him, my reward will be that I'm going to stitch that bird. Because mm -hmm. I want that bird stitched. Yes. But I'll have to decide, is it going to be my reward for that? Or do I have to finish the rest of the green first? Mm -hmm. Which the green has been fun. And yeah. I'm doing some different things with it. Um, I think I said this last week, but when I'm stitching these leaves on the underside, I'm stitching horizontally. And then I come back down on the top and stitch vertically up and down. Just to give it a little dimension and movement. I just love this piece so much. <laughs> I'm going to have to break down and buy it one of these days so I can stitch it for myself. But I'm having a great time watching this. <laughs> and I'm stitching this on 32 count Highland from Picture This Plus. Highland or Heather? I never remember which one. I think Highland, but I don't. 
And then um, something that I do, if you haven't been here, is that I change the letters of my family members. I change the color of their initial mm -hmm. in my alphabet. So the B and the JKL are a different color. So, so fun. I kind of love this piece a lot. I do too. You know, I get excited every time you work. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in this beautiful bag from um, my friend Judy, Judy's Project Bags and More. And look at that inside. But I love this, and I feel like it kind of goes with the smashed blackberries thing. It's a button that looks kind of like oh, a blackberry, yes. too. It's such a pretty, pretty button. So I like everything about this project. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything just goes. But that's all I worked on this week. Nice. So we, I was very focused. And if I wasn't stitching on frog warts, I wanted to be stitching on blackberry house. So. See, this is the story of frog warts. We got it early and we're like, uh, okay, we can do this. If we only do this many stitches a day, we can have to be amazing. And so we're working and working and, and market happened and traveling happened. And I ended up a little bit behind. Me too. And then Lara goes, I'd like to get that done before the Stars Hollow retreat. And I'm like, what day we talking? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the weekend before if we could, I could say something over one. It's fine. And I'm like, no. I'm getting it done also because we try to finish it on the same day. It's just been traditionally, Tradition, yeah. we, you know, leave like some, uh, this isn't a spoiler either. If you stitch any of them, there are eyelets on them. So usually if nothing else, we'll just save those to do the last day mm -hmm. together. Um, but yeah, so we just really pushed ourselves and got it done a month and a week ahead mm -hmm. of our deadline. Katie had told us by the end of May and we were just ready. Yeah. So Katie is excited to uh, get the photos of it and be able to order the pattern and get mm -hmm. that in. And what I'm excited about is you can see there's one here and there's one over here that are mm -hmm. framed. We bought all of the frames for all of the years at the same time. So now we can take this out to um, the LNS and get this framed. Yeah. And I'm really excited about that. Yeah. And we have um, one of our friends stitching, restitching the first year, which we have finished as a drum, but we want all of them to be finished in a frame. So we have a friend stitching that. And when she finishes that, then we'll get that one framed as well. So that will be so exciting. Fun. So. <sighs> so how did you do on prompts this week? Did you, did well, you just... <laughs> Did I blow it for you? Well, I'm seeing if I can uh, do all of the prompts. So we had a prompt that was stitch something in winter. So I did 200 stitches on sea glass, like I said. Um, and that is the only prompt I've finished so far. I have planned the other things I'm going to do. But I don't think I'm going to get 800 stitches done today. Something tells How many me. prompts do you get a week? We get five. Okay. And there are 200 stitches a piece unless you do penalty stitches. But I was able to make everything work. But it's fine. Because oh, you can get 800 stitches after you go to a kite flying contest for part of your day. Sure. Why not? Why not? Um, it's also, you know, bath night for the toddler and all the other things. So oh, totally <laughs> in the couple hours before bed, I'll get that done. <laughs> Do you have new prompts for next week? Um, no, well, I haven't really looked, so oh, I'm not okay. sure. Um, but as far as like my plans go for the next week, I really do want to start working on that rainbow block challenge uh, because I would like to get it done mm -hmm. by May 15th. That would be nice. But also, I may just give myself a week to just stitch on whatever I'd like to stitch. On. Well, and we have the retreat. So if you're mm -hmm. able to join in and, yeah, you know, we that's have, fun. Uh, one of the big things that's happening in Kansas City is we're hosting the NFL draft, mm -hmm. which is exciting for the city. Uh, I'm not no oh we've already seen the setup uh -huh. because um this week i didn't tell what my big thing was oh. this week this week my husband and i celebrated our 37th wedding anniversary <laughs> and we drove down past the area where it's it's going to happen at union station right. and my i was driving so i didn't really get to look but my husband goes oh my gosh did you see the size of that stage well, no, I'm driving. <laughs> my husband has been reading on it and they've like reinforced the parking garage underneath there because so many people are going to be, you know, on top of where that parking garage is. So I'm not going. My husband's going. 
Really? Yeah, because his favorite team is the Bears, and the Bears have the first pick on Thursday. Okay. And so, and he's never had the opportunity to go to a draft, and so he really wants to go. Well, as part of a retirement present for my father-in-law, I mean, it doesn't cost to go, um, in theory. <laughs> I'm sure that any food you get is going to be yes. 500 times the price it usually is, but um, he's going to come down, and we're going to host him, and you know, Basically, he's going to spend the whole weekend here going to the draft. They're not sure how many days they're going to go to. So next week, I will have house guests. Oh, fun. Which is fine. Yeah. I love my father. But he's a pretty easy house guest from what you've said. Yeah. But that'll be three weekends that I've spent with my father in that <laughs> which is way more weekends than usual. <laughs> but we're excited. So we'll see. I have uh, <clears throat> not so subtly hinted to my husband that maybe they could have a boys day out so that I can participate in the stars follow <laughs> which would be fun yeah. right so, yeah. but anyway so all that to say I don't know how much stitching time I'm going to have I don't know what I'm going to stitch on but I'm looking forward to just having like a week of just whatever I'd like to work on we had the Black Needle Society uh, monthly chat last night, mm -hmm. and I had spent the day and the evening working on the temperature sal because my goal was to get it caught up. Mm -hmm. And I got through, I, I mean, it doesn't, it's only 10 stitches yeah. per chevron, but when you have to change color almost every day, mm -hmm. it takes a long time, right. which is my problem with smaller patterns is that you don't stitch very many stitches and then you change gloss. Mm -hmm. So um, I did make it all the way through February and March, and we're almost all the way through April. So I would like to work on that some more. Mm -hmm. And I should have lots of stitching time this week right. with the retreat. Um, although Katie and I will be doing work behind right. the scenes. But, um, but also, so I would like to work on that. I'd like to work on the Rainbow Block Challenge. And then, as promised, in my Gilmore bag with the Luke's inside, I am going to start um, Fairy Copy Mother from Heartstring Samplery. And it just says, I need a Fairy Copy Mother. So I, I feel like that that little fairy up there kind of even looks like Lorelei. So. Yeah. so that would be fun. And all of the uh, beans around the outside. Mm -hmm. This is part of the, I can never think, Part of the Magical Elixir series. This is part three. So I think most people have seen the um, first I drink the coffee, then I do the mm -hmm. things, which I have started. Mm -hmm. um, but this one was so cute. And when we saw this, I'm like, I have to have that. Right. So I just need to choose fabric and I'll be ready to go with that. Yes. And that, I think to survive the weekend will be... You That's will need a very coffee mother. Yes. <laughs> we'll be here at the office, um, which will be different. We've we've not hosted a retreat from here. Yeah. But it means that our family members don't have us, they don't have to be quiet and tiptoe around us and right. all of those okay. things. So um, but I think that's it. And man, we have rambled oodles and gobs. Well, and I'm the shenanigator today. I <laughs> my hair, so <laughs> Well, then I think there's nothing else left to say except bye. Bye. Have a good week. <laughs>